Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Kyle here with the car guys. I'm joined with Neil and Nam. Uh, we just hosted a that nine case tournament, was it last week? Um, and we got a pretty good turnout, like 30 players. And this is round one. Unfortunately, the first couple turns were kind of uh, were kind of cut off. Um, Nam's fault, not mine. Um, but before anything, before we get into talking to anything with the matchups, set nine things coming out with the car guys, X, Y, and Z. Um, if you see anything in this video that you would like to purchase, go on over to the TCG player. We have our links in the description. Um, we get like a small kickback for like a purchase um, if you make anything or if you buy anything with that link. So all that's greatly appreciated. We also have our merchandise store on Teespring. That link will also be in the description below. Um, you can get premium hoodies, t-shirts, tank tops, pajama pants, I think, stickers, phone cases, anything you really think you can possibly get as merch is probably on that store for you guys. So definitely check that out. That really helps the team, helps the channel grow and uh, and whatnot. But um, but yeah, like I said, I'm here with Neil. I'm here with Nam. Um, and right now for round one, it looks like we have Janimba versus... Uh, versus Jiren, and it's two of our good friends, Andrew and Neil, playing each other. Um, disregard the artificial impact. Other than that, yeah, let's get into it. Um, I like Jiren a lot, actually. After watching Bonaparte play it a good bit on Saturday, I actually think it's very well placed in the meta. What do you think about this? I really like the deck, too. <clears throat> it's actually <Especially>. scary. <laughs> Ooh, I think it uh, the successor mechanic makes the deck very strong. Being able to play and the, the Jiren leader being able to play two drops or less uh, for free. You can find your one drop barrier uh, gives all your universe two or less barrier. Yeah. Uh, makes the deck pretty strong. Also the tournament pack card. Um tournament pack jiren card that's, that plays one when you discard it absolutely insane it or plays two, two. two of Play, them, yeah plays two ridiculous freaking ridiculous i read that from he, the drop when he literally plays this card like he just discarded it when i was watching it, like table one i read it and i'm like oh my god that card probably is the one of the best cards in the deck <laughs> and i mean he he abused that card this uh this tournament so um yeah i uh I think this deck is can be played in multiple different ways. I think you can do it aggro, you can do it in, and you can do it mid range. You know, you can just play like topo topo float, keep on just pinging them for one from their hand, then play the dispos and the topos from Look your hand, and then and then he goes topo. Successor right now. six, he's gonna get double Zore procs, and he can immediately go to an eight drop. Well, mm -hmm. if you have mana for it, this this is just dumb. And I know, like, I know Bonaparte ended up playing, um, I know he ended up playing, like, Cooler, with two of Cooler in his deck. It, I mean, like, he, he was, he was, he was ready for any sort of matchup with his build. I know, um, Simon brought it up in our chat that when, when Bonaparte put up, uh, his DBS deck link, it showed, like, 70-something iterations, like, changes he's made to it. And, like, you just know that, you know, he went through the ringer with his deck to perfect, you know, how the deck functions and whatnot. Um, now, for Andrew, um, I don't really know, even know if he wanted to play Janemba. Nam, um, you know more than I do about that. Uh, he likes Janemba a lot, but he doesn't have the opportunity to go uh, and play test very often. Yeah. I mean... Given he why he's playing the, uh, the artificial impact in his deck, because... <laughs> He also just didn't read the card. Right. Um, he so, tends to do that. Yeah. But I mean, he is a very good player with, and I think here's where he's about to artificial impact the uh, Topo. I think is when I was like, uh, I don't know if that's a thing. Just want to let you know. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, he's well versed in the Janimba, in the Janimba realm. Um, but I just think Neil has... Uh, obviously, his deck it just outclasses you know, I feel. I don't know and about outclasses, but it's very good. I feel like it's about to happen. Here's where we find out. He reads it right away, and I'm like, I don't know. 
and I feel really bad about this because I'm the one who supplied him with those cards. <laughs> he asked me right before the tournament, he's you got any uh, artificial impacts? I'm like, yeah, of course. <laughs> and he told me he was playing Janemba too, and it just did not click to me. Very unfortunate. It is very unfortunate. Um, so now he has like two dead cards in his hand. But not necessarily. Still combos for five. I mean, sure. He technically can't do this either. This is Janemba's three blue. Man. Oops. I'm crucifying him on Messenger later tonight. Mm. Yeah, these games are pre-recorded, so it's not like we can like go over there and tell him to fix it. Yeah, unfortunately. Um We're having a stream judge next time. <laughs> I can't, I can't yeah, be right. allowed on this in my tournaments. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thanks. I would I would like to be able to stream these sooner or soon when we start doing them more and more. Um, we'll have to figure that out. I think it'd be cool. We have the equipment for it. Yeah. If not streaming it, maybe bringing the computer equipment and like using OBS to record that way through the computer. So, and be just be doing it there. So we won't have to worry about like obviously coming in and doing, <clears throat> doing this now. We'd already have it all done, but, um, so Neil's going into his turn four with like fucking twelve so cards. He in has hand. a successor on board, which means it's prime time for Gohan to come down. And he does play a three-one split of Gohan that in that Goku from the expert deck too. I know a lot of the times he would uh he would set up for that play, and I think it is without a doubt a very strong play. And he was that Gohan is bonkers. Yeah. You know what? Also, the other card that I'm thinking is bonkers, Nom. It in cold blood. <laughs> that card is so good. I want that card to be so good, but with cooler in the meta, just minusing all your, you know, successor cards, or not successor, but like all your low drops, just makes it much more difficult to play. Not that good, exactly. So. Or the U7 deck. Man. Hopefully uh, the Bardock gets reprinted in the new draft, uh, new anniversary box. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to get some reprints. Um, I feel like it is a big topic, really. That came out of nowhere last night. Thanks, Trey. Um, that'll definitely, I think help the player base out a lot. All right, you see what's going on here? He beamed so he can have the green up so he could play Vegeta the Cruel. I like it. That was actually a really good play on his part. And then he has to warp a card. And then it makes him warp a card too, so. Ooh. So he draws and warps. Yeah, right? draws, draws first as active player and then yeah. warps a card. Yeah. Warps an ape. I know he only plays two apes as well, so that's good that he's already got those out of the way for this matchup. He's definitely got more than enough cards in hand. He's just going to charge that artificial impact because he can't do anything with it. Yeah, deck. I was just about to say the same thing. I'm like, oh, there it is. So what do you think Andrew can do to try to combat the board right now? Because the looming threat of Gohan is too I, great. I don't think he has an out to the Topo right now. He's, he's, I mean, like, the Topo he's has barrier, right? The topo. 
Uh, it does have barrier, yes. Yeah. So it's rough. It's 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 definitely it's definitely a rough uh, rough time for him. So, and I don't think Neil wants to go past three life, right? Is that what he's at three or four? It looks like three. It looks like three. Yeah. And then he obviously all out assaults, and he can just tap the leader. So that that's another really good play for him. And now. Looking at it, he's got successor 12 on lock. So if he's got the Xeno in hand, he possibly could just go straight into it. Um, which is neat. It doesn't look like he has it, though. No. Andrew's got hella negates in his hands too. So. But does it matter when Neil's got cooler? This is very true. Since since the successor of the Xeno cell well, is he, free. <laughs> Andrew also has um the Bojack in hand, potentially resting, you know, a threat. Very true. Oh, oh so he God. does have it. I think it's the first time happens. Andrew's even read the car. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm just going to play this for free. No biggie. I mean, and it's turn five, so he ditches three cards. So, like, watch him just hit all in the gate. And, and, well, and, and well, even if he does and he has the cooler. Yeah. <laughs> One negate. Dead. And the... <sighs> and he hits the Bojack. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. That's pretty good. Playing Topo procs off of the successor, so it kills the Vegeta. And then here we are. The quad strike. And, and bam. He coolers. And he cooler. One, two, three, four. Only draw one. Yep. And he has the Gohan. You just combo out at this point, right? I, th I think so, right? Like, knowing he's playing tri cut like the green version, he's gonna play a lot in the gates. I think he just, I think he just combo all the way up, and and he and he notices that here, so. Cause like this is the chance. And he draws the fucking Bardock just because. Well, I don't think he can play the Bardock. He can't. But no, I just just I would just combo out, I would just tap two. Yeah. And like this is rough because like it's one of those things where like you have to risk it. Cause he could get hit with with, with uh with uh God Strike. It is possible. Okay, yeah, he didn't draw the God <laughs> Strike. <laughs> and she's like, oops, next game. All right, now we're going siding in for game two. So what do you think Andrew can do to try to turn around on the side? Looking at his side right now. Definitely. And like, I would Mufuba. probably side in the Mafuba. <laughs> I think that card's really good. Um, honestly, since it looks like Neil kind of played that more like slower, I guess. I think he puts in... I, he probably won't, but I honestly think he needs to put in more of the, like the turbo, like mill cards, like his other Janimba stuff from his side deck. I want to say he played like Demon Swords in his side deck and stuff. And I feel like the first things he takes out is artificial impacts, right? Oh, 100%. <laughs> oh, for, for sure. Yeah. He's only got, he only took two of them out. He probably still needed green sources. He, yeah. yeah, he probably needs the green source. I'll see some Mafubas coming in. Two more three drop uh, Janembas. Just so you can have access to it. Yep. To whatever he needs. Oh, 
Only Andrew had uh, access to hit and cold blood. <laughs> it's a four drop, right? Right, it's so good, right? Yeah. He'll just play all his counterplays and make it a four drop. Game. And then guess what you do the next turn? Yeah, hit him again. I definitely think the cell, the Xeno cell uh, SCR is probably the best one out of the three, in my opinion. Being able to play a quad striker for free. It's free. You know, like it, it rewards a player for building a deck that can do it early, which a lot of decks can do, weirdly enough. Um, like turn two, turn three. And I think that's why it does make it the best secret. Because, like, obviously. <sighs> with the apex of power you have to wait till turn 5 so but that card is also really good <laughs> well, but also the fact that it's free you, you you saw what happened you're able to just tap 3 for cooler since you're probably going to be playing it in the yellow deck right you can do whatever you want and I mean, tap 3 for a swift 2-0 cooler I mean, and then like on top of that you still get additional effects if you're if like they have a board per se and you successor off a of Jiren or two. Like as you saw, he got to kill the Vegeta the Cruel. Alright. So, we and are going cards. into game two. Charge multi and pass. Charge multi swing play a two drop. Where's that casserole? Damn, I'm good. X is gonna give it to you. Yep. What does he play here? Does he just play? Let's play the barrier, dude. Like the barrier, the Vuan or whatever it is, or like the Kun. There's, there's no way to interact with it. Yeah. Because it, it negates the skills for the turn, so it doesn't have barrier yet. So just it's just it's it's just safe to do that as a turn one play, especially when you're tapped out. Sure. It's rough because he doesn't want to charge the piccolo, but he needs a green source. Hey, he to said, play "Mama didn't draws. raise no bitch." Yeah. And also, like Neil, Neil's deck, just like I guess inherently has a good matchup versus the Janemba deck because it does play four of the all-out assault brolies. That does hinder Andrew's deck strategy a lot. And I saw I saw Neil doing that all day. Just putting putting leaders in rest mode and saying ha ha. So. And that Topo is really good. Topo. Makes him this card, right? And then, and then when it's Sent to the grave by a by a skill they discard again, right? So I think so. That card, that card is so good. I saw him looping that card all day, and like in in the mirror matches he was playing, that's the reason he was winning the mirrors. So now he's got the one of I think it's a one of Vuan. He's got the Vuan squad. Squad up. Yeah, that topo was crazy. Nope. There's the piccolo. He can't he can't really use the piccolo anyways, because now that everything has barrier, right? Nope. Yeah, everything that you now, would want to hit is out of range. Well now they don't have barrier. <laughs> you know, until he summons another one. Yeah, of course. It would just sack the two job and play uh play another one job. Or play another one. Or play another one. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's got that Jiren in hand, he can just play it. Yep. It's very true. 
I think he's debating it was like, does he have Vegeta the Cruel up? He was about to draw a card and then he drew yeah, into X gonna give it to you. You love seeing that card. Jesus. Look at that board. If I think what uh, happens next think... is about to happen next. I honestly think he should have hit a two drop there. Well, he can't. Well, no. Could he even do that? He can. He can. One, two, three. Does four, it not give seven. itself barrier? Yeah, but it, it everything that's summoned is the the that dude summons it with the skills negated for the turn. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah right, right, right. <clears throat> the problem with with KOing the two drop is that if he does that, he's just gonna get the barrier dude back again anyway. Well, I guess my thing is, like, if you kill the two drop, then he's only got five. He's only got five instead of six. Like, I don't know. I think he would have made it more, like, it would have made them, the numbers more awkward for, like, a successor player. Looks like he's going to sweep his board here. Or he's doing that, or he's going into, he's going like, into Dispo, Belmod. I think. Either Belmont or Dispo. Uh, Dispo. There you go. Sweet. Uh, pay one draw. Do? Pay one draw, draw card. Yes. Yeah. So he's resolving the two drop first. Which is smart. Before he draws a card. Man. I just feel it. The play is going to come. What are you talking about, Neil? He has a Jiren in hand. He's going to summon two one-drop barrier dudes. Uh -huh. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Man, Neil's so, he's so good at this game. He's He's also got a really good poker face. I've played with I've played against Very him true. a lot. <laughs> Very true, he does. Oh, there it is. It's happening. Turn so good. Juan and a cooch coochie. coochie. Squad. Squad. And then now he goes Four, Belmont. Five, six, seven, eight. Or don't, no, he doesn't have Belmont. I'm counting nine, Four, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he has nine. If he goes into. If he goes into Gohan right now, or if he does anything, then. The two drops gonna proc and he can go to ten, and then summon or discard another Jiren and go to twelve. That's so that's so free. I think he's also gonna wait on doing something with the G the Doctor Jiro, and the and the Broly in his hand. I don't know because he gets some of the same three dudes. Yeah, he can. Yeah, and then second the topo it's gonna make uh Andrew discard another card. Make him discard oh so God. Yeah. I like this deck a lot. <sighs> deck is very like it knows the, how can I explain it?
the deck's resource management is the, uh, like absurd. And and he's doing it without blue. Yeah, he's doing it without blue, which is the, the even the like crazy thing. Like, see here. So now he's comboing two for arrival. Comboing Broly, two for Broly, which is going to give him twelve. Uh, gives him twelve right now. Six four. He has thirteen on the board. He has yes. thirteen on the field. Yeah. Taps the Champa, draws a card. I'm surprised he didn't want to tap like the green source. Yeah, the green source probably would have been their better play. Just so he couldn't get Vigio the Cruel, like if that even is a like a threat right now. That would just make him discard a card. Yeah. It's about sending a message. Maybe Barnfire just doesn't like Chompa. Tapped it in and killed it. Like just thinking about it is is really really absurd because you can constantly recycle the dudes like let, let, he has that bell mood in hand right and let's say he had like like, a, like all the weenies out yeah so yeah. use the bell exactly. mood ko a two drop and two one drops and then the two drop procs and then he goes and gets another one ko is one of his opponent's battle cards and then discards Jiren and just get the two one drops back. Yep. And that would be six. Balance. Mm. Fucking balance. He's thinking right now. You got it. Okay, so he goes into the topo. Kills the Vegeta the Cruel. And then procs the... Which one is it? The... Dispo's gonna draw a card. Yeah, Dispo. And the two drop. I never know what the two drop's name is. He probably... Is he out of one drop? Kunshin. He's out of one drops. No, it's not the Kunshin, is it? It's, it's uh, Casserole. Binary Blade Casserole. Casserole. Like, okay. like green green bean casserole. Oh. Yeah. Shout out to Thanksgiving. Mill two, please. It's pretty good. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I don't know. See, like that's that's why I think that like Andrew's deck is just it's an uphill battle because he doesn't really play anything, and like it's just I don't know. It's just I'm gonna play on my opponent's turn type of word. I mean that's a lot of that's a lot of Dex's format though, and Genevo's kind of doing that before anybody else. Yeah, but get with the times. It's what do you mean? He was, a, he, was, he was ahead of the curve. Get with the times. Twenty twenty, make Genevo great again. Oh really? <laughs> funny you say <laughs> that. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's funny you say that. Why is it funny that I say that? Oh, we'll show you later. <laughs> oh shit! I don't even want. <laughs> oh, I love me some Janemba. Yeah, you know well, else? you know I what think... else I like? R red cards. I love red cards. Red cards are great. Neil's deck Pan is deck uh, looking a little low. Yeah, it is. Definitely is. I mean, is it 10 cards you or hear, less? You, you, want, you want to hear something funny about this uh, this Janemba deck? It puts cards in your grave. 
what U11 card is good for having U11 cards in your grave? Pushes Ooh. up glasses. That was a good draw. I think he, I, I hope he plays it. I think he sided it. So like, Ooh, I hope he plays it. I, ju I saw the card he drew. Yep, FDP. That card's absurd. Oh. I think Neil has it in his hands, too. Yeah, we. He has it. Talking about the Jiren card. Oh. Yeah, it's right there. No, he's talking about the 12 drop. I'm talking about the 12 drop Jiren. 12 drop Jiren? Yeah, bro. That card's really good. Especially against the mill deck. And then guess what? If it gets FTP'd somehow, then he can just sell Zeno's successor right into. Oh for nothing. my god. Are you. Oh my god. What are we oh my godding? Realizing what you just said. What, me? Yes. Yeah, yeah very good, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. If it gets negated, you just go, all right, I'm going to psych my 12 drop for free. Yeah, yeah. You just go, oh, ma, you got me, psych, and you just fucking <laughs> flop your dick down. Like, here it is. Got your ass. It's so good. So good. When Neil told me about that after the tournament, I was like, oh, my God, I feel nauseous. <laughs> But yeah, Neil looks like he's got maybe 10 cards left, Megan. Here he's going. He's just going straight into the 12. Don't Del for it. Zeno. Discard cards, motherfucker. I mean. Twelve, twelve cooler. Man. He's got no cards in there. Oof. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's a super combo and what else? Oh, he draws the artificial impact. That's not a good draw right now. Or ever. Bringing some dudes back. I think the Jiren's on top of his deck, by the way. That's really cool. I just realized what else you could Girl, do with that card. Hand. It's in his hand. Never mind. So if you're missing... If you're missing a green source, you can to discard the Jiren. Yeah, to, to get green cards. Oh my god. Nice deck. <laughs> nice deck. Insta chart. Best green source in his deck. <laughs> By a mile. Instant charge. Remember back when I played Cell and I would always draw my seven drops? Instant charge. Good time. Bro, you just gotta evolve for six. I've done that once. Head of the curve. Does the cell naturally have quad strike and dual attack, or is that just when it's summoned? Um, uh, naturally. Oh I think it God. naturally has... It has natural quad strike... But um, only but, for the duration of the turn, it has dual attack if you have five more energy. Got yeah. it. So if, if, if yeah. Neil has another... Correct. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> what is he tapping oh. out for? I'm about to say. Yeah, oh, about what to is say he tapping it. out He's for? He's doing it. He's doing it. God is real. <laughs> I love it. it oh, can't do it. It, it has to deflect, do doesn't it? It has to deflect. <laughs> <laughs> Neil's got the 12 drop gear hand to sell Z. Whoo! Diddled. Get diddled, Andrew. <laughs> Double quad strikes. Let <laughs> me scoop it up. <laughs> got two negates, Andrew. What you gonna do? Survive till next turn? Right, just he to get he, he is going again. to die. Wait, what? I mean, there's no way he's. Wait, it can't be. It can't. His attack can't be negated, can it? Mm. Oh fuck! I don't know. Let's look that up. Real I'm pretty quick. sure uh, it doesn't. I think that, that that's kind of what Jiren's do. Yeah, right. It's kind of uh, just like during battles with this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate counters or blocker. 
<laughs> he should have flipped. That's disrespectful, though. He should have flipped. If he if if he knew that, Andrew could have flipped over and just did a discard to to negate. <laughs> he can't. That's wild. He didn't know. Well, he didn't know he had the twelve twelve drop in. Right. That's what, that's what I'm saying. If he knew the what what the twelve drop did, he had he had a chance to to get over and negate it. Oh well, you know, you win some, you lose some. Neil is Neil's deck is just wild. It really is. Come to the more. I'm coming to more and more realizations of this card, or of this deck. The more and more I see all the cards he plays and like see how he plays. So like. Yeah, yeah, like this deck is just absurd. How funny would it be if he opened another artificial impact? All right, okay. that'd be funny. <laughs> All right, yeah, well, I guess um, that's gonna do it for this one. Yeah, round one in the books. Congrats to Neil for uh, or Bonaparte for um, a splendid performance. For a fucking twelve drop Jiren deck. I love it. Um, but yeah, like we said at the beginning of the video, even if you're probably, nobody's probably listening at this point, but if you are, thank you. That's awesome. Um, don't forget to check out our merch store, teespring.com forward slash the card guys. I think the link's going to be in the description. Um, if you want to pick up these Jiren cards, click the TCG player link in the description as well. Um, helps the channel out. You'll get your cards and then everyone's happy, right? At no extra cost to you. All you have to do is just click the link. Be nice. But don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Um, my cash app cash tag is card guys Why? if you want to donate that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Anything you guys want to say? No, no. Oh, yeah, no. nothing. All right, well. It's well, left me speechless. The right? And the famous words of 3XG. Bye. Bye.